guys today is thursday november 23rd it is thanksgiving day i have a new weave installed it's very long let me put the camera down so you can see see how long it is super long super long am i trying to be the baddest bitch in the living room today maybe i don't know and did i show you guys my nails so yesterday as you know i got my nails done so there's that hair and nails done i want to get ready and get out there and enjoy my friends and my family so let's get started back to the topic that's at hand becoming a bad bitch the first thing you always notice about baddies is that their eyebrows is always on fleek they spend a lot of money on grooming their brows and just buying really good brow products i use anastasia beverly if you have really thick eyebrows god bless you you don't have to do this step So it does get gunky on top of your lid, so you want to go in with the beauty blender to remove any excess product that you don't need. And that will stop your lids from looking like creasy. So yeah, really get in those lids. And then you're going to take this flat brush and add some setting powder by Laura Mercier. Okay, so now that that's set you want to make sure you close because these things do dry out really fast if you have this you know what time it is mm -hmm. so now i'm nice and primed and now i'm going to go in with foundation my foundation of choice today is going to be i'm going to mix revlon color stay i wear cappuccino with makeup forever hd i'm going to be taking a lot of pictures today as it is thanksgiving so i want to look really nice on camera so i put the thicker foundation in the middle of my face which is the revlon um color stay i can't find my beauty blender and i need to find that really quick because i don't even know how to do my under eye concealer without it how do i live without you i'll never know so if you find this vlog to be really makeup heavy it is really because it was requested by a lot of people that i start talking about beauty so hey guys it's been two days since that original clip i was having some technical issues so unfortunately i wasn't able to finish that makeup segment but it's okay we're just gonna do it all over i'm gonna go off camera apply my base using all the same products and i'll be right back hi guys so i'm back with my base applied and my eyebrows filled in we're gonna move right into the highlight i am gonna be using la girl hd concealer along with maybelline dark circle eraser Ooh. i am using eco tools total perfecting blender this is gonna be my first time using it way how it just fits so snug under my under eye it's definitely not as soft as the beauty blender and the real technique sponge it's a lot harder So I'm going to turn the sponge around and just go smooth out the edges. And then I turned it around again to give it a more precise. I'm beginning the nose contour process basically by doing this. Okay. I'm going to take the same concealer and put it on the top of my eyelid. 
So I'm just gonna take whatever's left on the sponge and just go back over the highlighted areas. Today I'm gonna be baking with a combination of Laura Mercier. I'm gonna stick to like the under eye with this and then Sasha Buttercup for the rest of the highlighted areas. You guys, I went back in for a second layer with this concealer. It just wasn't enough for me. I like my concealers thick. All right, that's what I'm talking about. I think that I put too much product in the front of my brows. Let me dust away. Laura. I'm not gonna set the rest of my face just yet. The Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. I know it's all messy. That's just how I roll. I'm like, I, in my mind, I'm mad organized and all my ducks are in a row. My makeup brushes are always clean and stuff like that, but that's just not what's really happening in real life for me. Just fuck boys trying to waste my time. is going crazy right now because apparently mace came out of retirement i gotta listen to that what was your favorite mace record mine was um been around the world i actually played a clip of that in my last vlog <laughs> So I'm all blushed up using MAC Raisin. I am going to now highlight. I like to go in with a goldish highlight first, which is MAC Gold Deposit. It's broken, so I'm not gonna like be extra and like push it to the camera. You know what this looks like. I pick up my blush brush. I don't go back into the, um, I just use whatever's left in the brush and blend that out. Blend it out, 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 blend it out. So now I wanna do my second highlight. For my second highlight, I like it to look extreme and I use Laura Geller Gilded Honey for that really popping bright highlight that I like.
I'm gonna do tempura on the lids. So I'm gonna use keep using the same brushes. I'm gonna use burnt orange and clean out my crease. Damn, my camera's dying. Damn, I don't want to rush, but we have to. All right, I'm dragging. So talk time is over. I'm rushing it. I'm just gonna end this eye look right here. I'm gonna dust off this powder that I put there again just for like added reinforcement oh i'm gonna go back in this and put some color in my corners of my eyes that was primavera do i want to use vermeer they're both like shiny ones okay i like i use both but vermeer is definitely like on the silver side and primavera is more on the gold side Okay, the next step, I like to put white eyeliner on my underline and then mascara and then lashes. I'm going to be using Nicole Guerrero's eyelashes today in the style. I don't know what the style is. I'll put it in the description box, I promise. Okay, guys, I'm back and I am finished my makeup and I was going to stop here. But I just don't think any baddie look is complete without brown lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Limbo by ColourPop. Raindrops, drop top. Smoking on cooking a hot box. Fucking on your bitch, here, thigh, thigh. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, bro. I don't trust nobody. Get the uh. All of the gang and they come for ya. My bitch is bad and bougie Cooking up double dozy My head is a savage, ruthless We got thirties and hundred rounds too So my bitch is bad and bougie Cooking up double dozy My head is a savage, ruthless We got thirties and hundred rounds too Will he well? Alright guys, so this is my interpretation of a baddie look I really enjoyed filming this so if you guys want to see more content like this go ahead and let me know in the comment and on your way out don't forget to subscribe bye bye